when you purchase the go, mm -hmm. you get the value die, which mm -hmm. is this, 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 and it's got the four inch, the two inch, and the two half square triangles. Um, we have the dog ears cut off. Each of our shapes have the quarter inch and seam art allowance already calculated in. So this is a four inch finish, this is two inch finish. But if you were to take a measuring, your omni grip or measuring tape, this, this would be four and a half inches. And this should be two inches. It comes with the value die and it comes with a six by 12 mat. Yours won't be the speed up, yours will look pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> We also have the two pack, a six by six. So if you're doing like a geometric shape or you're just wanting to do one of these mm -hmm. shapes, you're just gonna cover the shape that you, you wanna, that you have your fabric on. You just wanna cover that shape. Um, this cuts down on your wear on your mat because even if you're just cutting this shape and you only have this mat and you're just doing the fabric on this, you're still laying this and running this through. This is still putting compression on your your blade, and it's still cutting into your mat. So we that's why we have come out with the smaller ones, and these come in one pack or two packs. Mm -hmm. So, so the blade action is in here, right? Actually, no. The blade is in the die. Oh, okay. Yep. So it, compresses it, it compresses it, yeah, you make your sandwich of your fabric. You can do up to six layers of 100% cotton at a time. Um, the purpose of the two-tone foam is so you can take fabric. This is what I was showing these ladies. It's important when you're doing a geometric shape, not when you're doing an applique shape because people will embroider around that. But it's important when you're doing geometric shapes and you're making a quilt like this. Um, you don't want any, you want each shape to be exactly the same. Um, very accurate. So there's a straight grain in fabric. This this side you can see it stretches. If you take this it's not stretching as much and not, you can feel that. So you're going to take your fabric and the purpose of the two-tone foam is so you know where those blades are. You just line it up right there. And we'll do some other over here. Make sure Rule of thumb is if your your handle's yeah. over here, you're cutting your label stays at your stomach, so you're running it through with the label at your stomach. The fabric the same way. You just make sure that your fabric is running with that grain, so you're not getting the stretch. And like I said, you can do six layers at a time. So you take that. Let's put one more on here just for fun. Here. On here like that. I'm going to turn it around this way. Then you just feed it in and you want to go ahead and roll? This is getting yeah. moving because of the tablecloth. We, we yeah. normally don't have the tablecloth on. Then you always want to slide it off so you don't not get that static electricity, and I didn't have that over there, right? I didn't line it up very good, so it didn't cut through <laughs> on this one. But, so, but here we go. See the dog ears are already. I'm just going to put your right sides together. Then you can go right to your sewing machine and sew those together. And then here's your big squares. I got a little bit of, I'm not sure where my scissors are. I got a little bit of string there and that's the other thing that we show is just keep your you know you're going to do lots of cuts keep your mats there's there's tips on our website and on youtube how to maintain and take care of your dies how to store them this comes we have a little die pick and you can you can see when there's threads get caught in there just clean clean around them clean your threads out 